Stephen, have to talk about the SPFL Transfer Zone initiative that will be in full flow at Central Park on Saturday, which allows fans to donate food and clothes at the turnstiles, which is really important at this time of year with people struggling so close to Christmas. You must be delighted that such a great cause has been supported by the club. As you know, it's something that, that we fully support, you know, and for all the local Celtic fans that are in the, in the Cowden Beef area, you know, it's, it would be great for you, so you guys to come along and, and, and help such a wonderful cause. Like I say, this, at this time, it's, it's difficult for everyone, the cold weather's there, and everybody's fortunate as, as other people, so it's really important that you come along and, and support a wonderful cause. Yeah, I've been saying there that you were hoping fans do come along, but to support the team as well, but get behind this cause. I think everybody's missing football at this at this time. So any sort of any sort of support that we can get, the charity can get as well. It's 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 the best time for it, and it's it's hopefully something that we can all look forward to when everybody comes and supports us. Hopefully, those that are going can donate what they can. But anyway, back to business of football. There was disappointment on Tuesday night. What's the reaction been like in training since Tuesday night against the Berwick Rangers? The listening lads were very disappointed, more so with the second half and how they, how they performed. Like we said, we always spoke about the, the performance is, is, is key to how we are looking to try and win football matches. Uh, the first 45 minutes was very good. The second half was, was probably as poor as we've been uh, all season. So that was disappointing. So again, the game's come thick fast, so it's important that the boys then, then get back onto it and, and they look forward to the next game. That's the one thing with the, when the games come so thick and fast you need to then react in a positive manner. Cowden Beef, it wasn't so long ago they were in the Scottish Championship it's been tougher times for them since but no doubt, you know, as you're saying the games are coming thick and fast, it will be another challenge for the team to, to get up and, and get the three points that they need to, to keep pushing in the league. Listen, every game's a different challenge in, 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 with the Lone League you know, that's what makes it such an appealing test for us to come into the league um, it's because every game's different, this is going to be going to be a game where we know what we're going to expect we'll, we'll expect a, a team that'll be well organised, they'll be well drilled um, and it'll be a difficult game for us but again we always focus on ourselves that's the most important thing and we've got a couple of boys that are coming back from injury which is which is great for us because it adds us more numbers into the squad and when you're playing so many games it's important that, that, that you've got that strength in your squad and have that depth so um, we're looking forward to the game and again after you don't have a positive result midweek you always want to then come back as firing as quickly as you possibly can. Stephen good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much thank you.